welcome to Around the House Effects. Today we will be showing you how to create faux skin. Faux, sure. <laughs> Amber, what was that? Uh, hate is gonna hate. You can use it to make various cuts and wounds on your body and we'll be using it for future how-to videos. So, we hope you enjoy Faux Show. Actually, no, that was pretty funny. Right? Okay. The things you will need for this video are gelatin, glycerin, a mixing bowl and a bowl of water, a tablespoon, a mixing stick, and wax paper. First, you want to lay down your wax paper to protect your surface, and then you want to get out one packet of your gelatin. You want to start by pouring your packet of gelatin in your mixing bowl. Then take one tablespoon of your glycerin and add it to your mixing bowl. Then add one more tablespoon. Then you need to add two tablespoons of water. Then mix it all together with your mixing stick. Next, you need to place it in the microwave. You need to set it for about 10 seconds. Once that is done, you want to mix it really well until it starts to get thick. Once it gets to the point of about alien slime, you got the consistency just right. And that's all it takes to make fake skin. Next, we're going to give you one example of how you can use your fake skin. Start by placing the fake skin on your model. You want to think ahead of time about where you want the fake skin to go according to what kind of wound you want to make. Today we're going to make somewhat of a chemical burn. It helps if you think about how big the wound is going to be so you don't end up using excess fake skin. Careful to blend your edges so it looks like it's blending right into the real skin. Then you need to take a pair of tweezers and carefully lift up pieces of the fake skin to create boils and blisters on the skin. Careful that you're not getting your model's real skin. Then you want to set everything by using some baby powder. You can then go in with some dark colored lipstick and fill in the places of the skin that have been torn away. With this, you're creating depth on the skin and also an infected look around the edges of the skin. Once you have a nice infected look, you wanna go in with a darker lipstick color to really emphasize the torn away areas of the skin. Last, Go in with a little bit of Vaseline to create a nice juicy appearance. Mmm, yummy. It's just one way you can use fake skin. If there's something you would like to see us create using things from around the house, please comment below and let us know. Always, thanks for watching.